Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this morning, I was playing around making a puzzle for my grandkids. And I kind of came up with a, a different way to uh, design it. And it's pretty cool and pretty easy. So you can just see here the, you can, you can, if you're an engraver, you could cut this out of plywood and engrave it and then cut it and you'd have a picture on the, on the jigsaw puzzle. And all I did to create this is take a, a square cube. I've got it four by four just for the video. Doesn't really matter. You can resize it later. And I've got a circle. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go ahead and hit the letter T and put it to the top. And then I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to move it up. And this is pretty important because you still, you've got to be in the middle. Well, you don't have to be in the middle, but if you want all the pieces to fit together, you do. Then take your two point straight line and go to the center, holding down your control button and go straight down. Then just come over here and click on the line. Click to about there, click to about even with that, and then go ahead and finish it off. Let's zoom in here. So take your shape tool and select all these and convert them to a curve. Now all your shapes are curves, as you can see, and we're just going to kind of make a, a curve here. This is probably the only really critical part. You need this on that line. And for the video, I'm just going to be close. Or not, not, I'm not worried about it. But then you could actually take away this one and get a pretty good slick uh, curve. Let's get our shape tool back. We need to go up with this one just a little bit to be on that line. That one I think is pretty good. Now you've got your shape, control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button. Do that right there. Select all that and, and weld it. Because it it and this is we do not we want this part. Now looking at it right now, I don't have a have enough of a curve. So I'm gonna back up here and give it a little bit more of a curve. And that's a good thing about it. You can just back up and start over. You need a pretty good curve. And I think I'm going to probably do the same thing. But you can always elongate that and just kind of play around till you get them close to the lines. That'll be good enough. That might be enough curve. I might not have my circle uh, tall enough off there to get a good enough curve. But let's control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button. And then let's weld this. And for the video, I'm going to probably call that good enough. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Now, these steps are pretty important. Um, just so that all the pieces will still fit together. We're going to control D and make a duplicate that. Holding down the control button, I'm going to move this to the bottom. And you can do that. Let me zoom in here. If you'll grab that corner while holding down the control button, and if you have snap to object on, it should snap to that. Control D and make a duplicate. Then we're going to hold it down the control button. Then we're going to mirror this. Well, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, this piece doesn't really matter that it's in the center, but we're going to put it in the center. Whoop. Holding down the control button. Move it over till it snaps to. Control D and make a duplicate of that and mirror it. And holding down the control button. And then grab that edge, and it should just snap to it. So for this one, I actually think we need to go to the other side. So let's mirror it. Because you need two ins and two outs. Kind of look to make sure you're on the line. 
That looks pretty good. Then we're going to select this one, holding down the shift key, and weld it. So on the outside ones, you can do this. Hold that, click that, click that, and weld. But on the inside ones, you need to do something else. You need to click on it, click on it, and back minus front. Click on your object, click on your box, back minus front. So now you have a piece of a puzzle. So let's go control D and just, you don't even have to do anything. Just get over here and snap it to it. Then control D and control D, control D, holding that corner right there and you'll snap right to it. Control D, control D. Now you're going to go, well, you've got all these outside corners. Well, you do and you don't. I was just looking to make sure it looks okay. So on the outside corners, just take your shape tool, lasso all those, and hit delete. And you can do this relatively quick if you just keep your hand on the keyboard. You don't even have to be looking. You have to click on each one to get all the nodes just take just a second and we'll be through this is uh, I've made quite a few puzzle videos uh, I like this one the best uh, I would probably have more of a curvature on my piece next time But all I'm doing is hitting the delete button. I think we got one more. Okay, there you have it. Now, so each piece is individual. And, it, and to bring that picture in, um, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to import him. I should have already, sorry, I should have already had him on the, Screen. I actually did the selfish just the other day for somebody, but this is kind of important. You bring it in, you got to ungroup it because it groups it all together. Then we're going to take this selfish and we're going to go no outline. Now here's probably the crucial part, or not crucial, but kind of fun and, and entertaining. Let's bring our selfish in and bring him a little bit smaller. We can make him just a hair bigger. Then just take them away. Now take all your puzzle pieces, go to arrange and combine. Then take your shelf, your selfish, and go up to effects, power clip, place inside frame, and there you have him. Now you don't really have to do anything else because the laser is going to do it. But if you just want to check it, break curve apart. Now each one of these pieces is individual, and be a pretty cool puzzle for anything uh, kids adults and um, kind of a fun project anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching